Guitar tips, guitar tips, just the tips, just for you. Guitar tips. Hello and welcome to Guitar Tips. Perhaps it's welcome back to Guitar Tips if you are a regular subscriber. If you're not a regular subscriber, shame on you. It's easy. Hit the red button down below and you're in. Uh, this is episode number 48. I can hardly believe it. Who am I? My name is Adam Levy. I'm a guitar player here in sunny Los Angeles, California. Uh, I often get asked in the uh, little comment section down below, what's that guitar you're playing? I don't know that I've actually played this one. I, I can't go back and ID all the guitars in the previous... Um, 47 episodes, but this guitar here, since I'm holding it, this is a Fender Telecaster of the Cabronita variety, made in Corona, California. Uh, I've modified it quite a bit. This neck is not original. This is a uh, neck that came off of a 50th anniversary Japanese Fender Telecaster. Uh, these pickups are TV Jones pickups that I put in. Uh, that's the kind of standard TV Jones, whatever Tron, I don't know what they call it. And then this uh, blade pickup in the bridge position, that is a TV Jones Super Tron. Um, I went with the blade because uh, the screws in the in the normal TV Jones whatever Tron. Uh, didn't line up that great with the uh, string spacing here on this particular guitar. So I went with a blade for better string to string balance and it turns out it's just a really boss sounding pickup and quite different from the neck. So now I feel like when I uh, flip it into the uh, bridge position, it's got some real uh, teeth to it and uh, this neck position is quite warm. Now, uh, you're not gonna really hear that because as you may notice, I am unplugged. And uh, that's, uh, that's what today's guitar tip is. Unplug. Unplug. Unplug your electric guitar. Now, if you're mostly an acoustic guitar player, this tip will not be uh, as interesting to you as it will be for electric guitar players. But from what I can gather, most of you play electric primarily. So... Uh, that's what this tip is about. Uh, it's interesting. I recently, um, I, I teach I teach guitar at the Los Angeles College of Music, as you may know, and uh, we recently had a guest uh, master class uh, clinician. I don't know if that's the right word. Anyway, Jeff Parker, the great uh, Jeff Parker, uh, came and spoke with uh, some of my kids at the school, and uh, among the many cool things that he said. I mean, his his advice, most of it was just so uh, to the point, you know, things like use your ears and uh, play honestly, play honestly. Like, people shouldn't even have to tell you that, but it's amazing, you know, how many light bulbs you could see going off in the room um, when Jeff said these things, especially after the kids heard him play and they they knew that he wasn't just uh, talking about playing honestly or using his ears, but he was, he was really doing those things. And another thing that he said was that uh, he liked to practice electric guitar unplugged, and that actually helped him work on his tone. Now, that might seem counterintuitive, and in fact, uh, I almost never do that. It, um, I like to practice plugged in with the, with the idea that on the gig you're going to plug in. So why not have your practice situation simulate as closely as possible the, the playing situation? Uh, and I've, I've talked about this stuff before. If you practice standing up, you sh I mean, sorry, if, you, you, if you're going to perform standing up, why not practice standing up? Uh, if you're going to perform with some pedals, why not practice with some pedals? So I think all that stuff is is true. And uh, but what Jeff said, you know, you can't when you hear his tone, you can't really argue with it. And it actually harkened back to is that the right word? Harken. Anyway, it reminded me of something that another one of my favorite guitar players told me 
20 years ago, uh, a guy named Steve Cardenas. I don't know if you're familiar with him, but um, Steve is a fantastic guitar player based in New York, originally from Kansas City. And he also, it's funny, those guys both play early 80s dot neck reissue ES 335s, which you could say, well, gosh, uh, Adam Levy, uh, 335 is, is pretty loud acoustically. If I had a 335, I would, I would unplug and, you know, I, I'd be fine. But that's why I wanted to do this tip with a Telecaster in hand, because this is actually, acoustically speaking, this is the quietest guitar that I own from my vast guitar collection of, I don't know, five guitars. Um, anyway, uh, as you can hear, it's not very loud, but uh, I'm gonna take Jeff's advice and spend a month or two practicing unplugged. This is unusual for me. Usually I try and uh, give you guitar tips based on years of my personal experience. And uh, this guitar tip is really something that's uh, I haven't done a lot of, I, I, I can't say that I've done this tip, but I'm going to do it and I'll check in with you in uh, a few tips down the road and see how it goes. But uh, Jeff Parker says it and uh, Steve Cardenas says it and uh, if you hear them play, you'll know that they can't be wrong. So what are you going to practice? I don't know. That's, that's a whole other guitar tip. Whatever you need to practice practice what you need to practice uh, whatever turns you on practice some of that too make sure you stay excited about uh, the guitar I always find the hardest part is just getting started I'm, I am excited about the guitar sometimes I'm just not excited to get started <laughs> so um, get started get over yourself I'm talking to me now but maybe that'll help you too and uh, don't plug in, you know, save some electricity. And uh, geez, it's the summer, it's plenty hot here. The last thing I need is a bunch of hot tubes heating up my little practice room here. Um, so I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna recommend that you try it. Unplug, unplug, that's the guitar tip this week. Guitar tip number 48, unplug. Guitar tips, guitar tips, just the tips. Just for you, guitar tips. Stay tuned, take good care, and for uh, for heaven's sake, subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks so much.